I'm assuming our number one is the same. Should we say it on the count of three? Three, two, two one. one. Today we are gonna be doing something a little bit different here. We're actually ranking from another video that is on this channel. The show is called Ranked and it's gonna be coming out every Tuesday at 2 p.m. on this channel and the link will be in that description. So today, Michaela, we are gonna be ranking 90s movies that are too dark for kids. Okay, so my number five is actually the ranked videos number four, which is Baby's Day Out. I just want to know what is with the 90s and incredibly irresponsible adults. I just feel like there's like a trend of movies that are just like, we forgot the kid, yeah. we lost the kid. Come on! We like, shrunk the kid, we blew we up the kid. We shrunk the kid? Yeah. Like, it's just constantly like, what is with these adults? Also, this kid is running all over New York City. No bystanders are like, let me it's take me. this baby to the fire station. Babe, that's New York. I'm just saying. It's, it's a concrete jungle, you know. okay? Have you never seen the end of Spider-Man? You mess with one of us. You mess with all of us. And they throw stuff at the Green Goblin because Spider-Man's a New Yorker. And that's sort of <laughs> what Baby's Day Out is really trying to explain. Mm -hmm. Those are the movies I cannot watch because I hate when it's like the, the scene in that movie when the baby is going to the edge of the yes. building. Yes. And it's like, who's having fun here. Who's no enjoying no this one. scene? Who isn't terrified that this baby is gonna, you know, fall off the building? So my number five was ranked number six, Mrs. Doubtfire. So I actually had sort of different reasons that I think, uh, you know, Ranked did. Ranked was very concerned with like, there were a lot of penis jokes and stuff like that. Sink the sub. Hide the weasel, park the porpoise. I'm more talking about the general plot of Mrs. Doubtfire, where the, you know, recently divorced father, who just wants to spend more time with his kids, decides that the best way to do that is to make himself look like a, a geriatric woman and get hired by the family and babysit for them. This is so psychotic that that is his first thought. Can you imagine if you found out that your babysitter was somebody, let alone your father, somebody else in yeah. disguise? Dad? Yeah. How terrifying that would be? You just really like make you overestimate the amount of times you are going to run into someone in your life who's in a disguise. I've never once, uh, been caught up with someone with a disguise, or maybe I did, and I just don't know. I would never trust anybody for the rest of my life, let alone, especially my dad. I understand why his wife divorced him. The whole time, the, the whole time, you would, the whole time. He has issues. Sense. He has a lot of problems. What's your number four? So my number four was ranks number eight, mm -hmm. the Brady Bunch. It's pretty obvious what's messed up. The sibling relationship thing, mm -hmm. even though they're step or mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah. I think the Brady Bunch might be to blame for the skyrocket in step sibling porn. I think popularity. I really like this take. Run with it. Go with it. Okay. It does not matter if you are real. It seems like a fun scandal thing, but it does not matter mm -hmm. if you are blood or not related. You guys are siblings, and it's gross. You live in the same home. But now, because when you're younger and watch this, you're like, "Ooh, this is kind of a fun storyline." You grow up, you discover the internet, mm -hmm. www.pornhub.com. Yes. And you're gonna click on these like weird fantasies that are in your head, and the Brady Bunch is the problem. And you think as you click it, you just think to yourself, "Marsha, Marsha, Marsha." Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. And so I, I completely agree with mm -hmm. you. I think the Brady Bunch is the problem. So my number four was ranked number seven. It was rookie of the year. Okay. Why it's really adult is in retrospect, a good half of the movie, the non like kid playing baseball half of it is really about sports contracts, which is sort of like legal side of the sports business. If Henry can show Pepsi that he's a winner, We'll sign him. All of that flew over my head as a kid. Now it's a lot more interesting to watch it as an adult. And so that's why the movie is a lot more adult than I remember. Or better yet, it's more fun to watch it as an adult. Great movie, Rookie of the Year, though. My number three is ranks number two, Hocus Pocus. Yes. The three grown women feeding for a virgin boy is uh, just... Weird. Let me just say really quickly too, my number three is also Hocus Pocus. Okay. So we can sort of tag team this. Okay. Yes, the whole virgin aspect. Virgin. 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 And I'm, I'm terrified of scary movies. So I, I don't watch scary movies. Hocus Pocus was one of those movies where it was like, it's not really that scary. Do you remember the opening scene of Hocus Pocus though? Yes. It's in the past. They murder a child. Yeah. That's how it opens. That's the opening scene. That 
But yeah, I've seen that scene one time because every other time somebody puts a hocus pocus, it's like, okay, I'll be back in five minutes. When we cut to the present and the whimsical things that happen in the present and it becomes fun and Sarah Jessica Parker and Bette Midler, the witches and stuff, them sucking the life out of a, a virgin child and you showed that to me as a kid? That scarred me. Maybe this, it was a lesson movie. Maybe they, they're warning you. Don't go near Bette Midler. Another glorious morning makes me sick. My number two is ranks number three, which is Free Willy. My number two is Free Willy. Okay. It's like a kid's movie, but also it's like, that movie is sad. It's Blackfish like, changed it does. Free Willy. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, but it's like, if you do go back and watch it, you do kind of see the underlying tones that Blackfish is telling you, where it's like, this mm -hmm. whale is unhappy. Imagine if the world you lived in was suddenly taken away. I wonder if Free Willy was created by the same people who made Blackfish, but they were like, the world isn't ready for Blackfish. Playing a long game. Let's teach the children that, you know, keeping Willie not free <laughs> is bad. And then when they grow up, they'll be ready for Blackfish. <laughs> I'm assuming, by the way, just given how this is, our number one is the same. Should we say it on the count of three? Yes. One, Three, two, two one. The, the parent, parent trap. trap. Yeah, the okay. parent trap is the most dark movie that you watch as a kid, and I loved as a kid. And I mean, can we talk about the fact that Lindsay Lohan, at however old she was, playing two characters like she's freaking Army Hammer in the Social Network? She is talented. Unbelievably talented. But yeah, the parent trap is so not even just the like, oh, like the parents would talk to each other. It's like they were like, let's split up the children and never see our other children ever again. We came up with this arrangement so that we never have to see each other again. In what world would anybody, let alone two people, a couple, and then their families, and then society, including the government, be okay with <laughs> literally being like, you and I are getting divorced. We can't handle each other. We're these two identical twins. Why don't we each pick one? What f up people ever have that thought? I'm not mature enough for this. Do you remember the, the picture scene where they put the, the picture of their parents together? Yes. That means they, as a couple, went, here's a picture of us. This is the only photo you will show your child of me. And they're both like well off families. It's not like it was like, we can only afford one child. No, he owns a vineyard. Oh my God, oh my God. Both of the parents have a live-in babysitter for one child. What? Not even uh, related to the, the, the rest of the, the, the family stuff. The movie opens with them at this camp. The two of them get in trouble. You and you pack your bags. So they put them in solitary confinement. <laughs> this is camp, not jail. Ridiculous. Not a movie for kids or anyone, but Lindsay Lohan's so talented. Lindsay Lohan is fantastic. All right, guys, so those were our lists. Make sure you go check out the show Ranked. Watch all 10. Let us know which ones we missed that you like and you think are way too dark for kids. And let us know which one of us you think had the best list in the comments or who's on top. Who's on top. See ya.